inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tracy Carlos. We have live team coverage of all the excitement. News Channel 5's Kristen Byrne watched the show from the Rock Hall with fans. But first, Michael Baldwin has the details on the ceremony. Hi, Michael. Hey, Tracy. You know, the show is still going on behind me. People were very, very excited and very, uh, very happy that this is the first time, of course, the uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction is back here in Cleveland in the past three years. The rain seemed to hold off pretty good, especially while folks were running up the uh, red carpet. You know, the folks, the Rock seems to be back in Cleveland tonight. It's not every day that Cleveland receives the red carpet treatment seen around the world. No! Nah. Oh, here's a little story I got to tell about three bad brothers you know so well. The real Beastie Boys went around the back, so we settled for these imposters. At Public Hall, fans were treated to local celebrities and living legends like Alice Cooper. Well, I'm a mid Midwest guy. I'm from Detroit, you know, so Cleveland's sort of our backyard there. So rock and roll belongs in the Midwest, I think. Even actors like David Arquette were in town. It feels beautiful. I love Cleveland, rock and roll. The heart of rock and roll is still beating in Cleveland. Former Cleveland Mayor and Governor George Voinovich is pumped. From the red carpet, we move inside to the performances. Rockers Green Day did not disappoint as they performed. For inductees like the Red Hot Chili Peppers, the day seems surreal. Flea texted me in the middle of the night going, dude, we're being inducted to the Hall of Fame. I'm like, whoa, you're right, we are, that's crazy. And we're here to induct Freddie King into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah. King's daughter said she waited 26 years for this day, never giving up on her dad, officially becoming one of the best musicians ever. But he didn't get a chance to complete his race. And so I took the torch and carried on in for him, and here we are. All right, if you didn't get a chance to see the ceremony, if you weren't here live over here at Public Hall, we can tell you that it will be broadcast on HBO May the 5th. We're live here in Cleveland. I'm Michael Baldwin, News Channel 5. Michael, any big surprises tonight? Well, uh, I, I guess there was one, Tracy. Uh, when, when the CEO of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, Terry Stewart, was out, you know, thanking the people for everything they had done, uh, he thanked uh, Governor uh, Kasich, and uh, people seemed to boo. So I didn't know what all that was about, but uh, that's what was happening inside. <laughs> all right, Michael. Thanks very much for your live report tonight. News Channel 5's Kristen Byrne continues our live team coverage from the Rock Hall now. And Kristen, it was a lot less rowdy at the Rock Hall tonight, right? Tracy, yeah, you know, we weren't able to videotape the simulcast because, as uh, Michael mentioned, HBO has the rights to it, but we talked to a ton of rock fans. You know, as you said, they really weren't too rowdy. The crowd was very tame. Uh, they were just really enjoying themselves, taking in the show on TV. Most of the seats set up for the simulcast were full. Fans even stood along the balcony to rock out to the big screen in the Rock Hall Museum. I think it's wonderful. It's so exciting. It's exciting to see all the people here. I'm happy. I am. There's nothing better than being here. Some admit seeing the ceremony in person would be ideal. Would you rather be at Public Hall at the induction ceremony? Um. Honestly, yeah. But watching it live is the next best thing. Tickets to the simulcast sold out last week. Plus, for 20 bucks a pop, it seems this ceremony is satisfying enough for these rock and roll fans. One big perk, they have access to all the cool rock hall exhibits. Well, this is good enough. I mean, I've been to the public hall one before, so last time they were here. And uh, this will this will be good enough. It's good enough. Um, what was really neat though tonight is we met a guy who said he used to room with the drummer of the Red Hot Chili Peppers. So I will take that. I didn't meet any celebrities. I wasn't on the red carpet, but that was really neat to meet someone who, you know, actually knows the drummer of the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Live in Cleveland, Kristen Byrne, News Channel 5. Absolutely, Kristen. You know, a lot of excitement all downtown tonight. And how many people were there with you? You know, the Rock Hall people said that about 1,250 people were here. And that's full capacity for them. But when you walked in, you know, it didn't seem like it was crazy packed. But, of course, as you know, you know, the Rock Hall is a large venue. So people were checking out the exhibits. They were just wandering all over, even the store at the Rock Hall. So, you know, they were kind of dispersed all throughout. Absolutely. Kristen, thank you.